when you exercise, your muscles need oxygen. That's why your heart beats faster. To get more oxygen from your lungs to your muscles. The more blood you have, the easier it is to get oxygen from your lungs to your muscles. That's why, though it's against the rules, some athletes do blood doping. They take drugs or get blood transfusions to increase the amount of red blood cells. More red blood cells means more oxygen can be carried to the muscles, so you can run farther and faster. But athletes have nothing on this fish that has a built-in method of blood doping. The fish lives off the coast of Antarctica, and it has a problem. It's really cold. Unlike us, fish are ectotherms. Their body temperature is the same as their environment. And when it's that cold, it gets hard to pump blood because blood is viscous, which is a description of how thick a liquid is. Molasses is more viscous than water, and it gets really slow when it's cold. Now, blood isn't as viscous as molasses, but when it has more red blood cells in it, it's more viscous, and that means the fish's heart has to pump harder just to move the blood around the body. So to save energy from pumping its blood, it's better for the fish to have fewer red blood cells, so its blood is less viscous. But when the fish needs to exercise, like if it's escaping from a predator or chasing prey, it's better for the fish to have more red blood cells so we can get more oxygen to its muscles. What's so cool is how this fish balances these two needs. When it's resting, it stores some of its red blood cells in its spleen so its blood is less viscous and it's easier to pump. But when it's exercising, it squirts some of the red blood cells back into the bloodstream so it's easier to get oxygen to its muscles. It's basically a form of blood doping. In this cool paper, the scientists measured just how much of a metabolic boost these fish get from their blood doping adaptation. First, they took blood samples from resting and exercising fish, and they measured the amount of red blood cells in the blood. Exercising fish had three times more red blood cells in the blood than resting fish. So to show that the extra blood cells were actually coming from the spleen, the scientists did two things. First, they measured the spleens of exercising and resting fish. Resting fish had bigger spleens, presumably because they were storing more red blood cells in them. But to test whether the spleen is actually necessary for the blood boost, the scientists took some fish and they splenectomized them. They cut the blood vessels going to the spleen so they couldn't squirt the blood cells back into the bloodstream. This didn't kill the fish, by the way. Splenectomized fish used significantly less oxygen when they were exercising than fish with an intact spleen, suggesting that the spleen really is the way these fish do blood doping. Athletes that do illegal blood doping can get a metabolic boost of up to 25%, but scientists estimate that this fish can get a metabolic boost of up to 200%. Makes you wonder what other crazy adaptations have evolved in extreme environments.